What up, it's your girl Najee. Everybody hates K, but everything golden. And you're listening to T7M Radio with my man's Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. It's been kind of quiet on his end as far as the reason why he left um, First Tape, ESPN, until today. He opened up today um, a little bit, and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and find the actual article so I can read just a little bit of um, what Skip had to say in response to an interview he did, I believe, with the Hollywood Inquirer, where he was pretty okay. much asked about, um, you know, him leaving. And he, he felt handcuffed at ESPN. He felt like too many people were in charge and they were kind of fearful, um, which is kind of interesting to me to hear coming from Skip Bayless. I mean, clearly, um, Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless was the superstar of first take. Um, I think uh, Skip Bayless revealed that uh, he was sort of handcuffed, which is hard to imagine since he he always, for the most part, got off what he said. But if you really paid attention, you really could tell that Skip Bayless kind of held back a lot, especially with the with the social and racial issues going on. He kind of let Stephen A. Smith take that control. Yeah. Let me say something. Let me say something. Two things about this whole situation. Number one, I don't want to call, it'll, it'll sound crazy for me to call Skip Bayless a racist. I mean, he's worked right side by side with Stephen A. Smith. Now, people don't call Stephen A. Uncle Tom. So, but I don't really want to call Skip Bayless a racist. So, I really, I'm not trying to be that direct. Right. But I've been watching First Take for a long time, and I can remember yeah, back yeah. with with the I can remember back with Tebow Mania, um, the whole Tim Tebow phase, and Skip Bayless has definitely been the biggest supporter of Tim Tebow. And the argument has always been that Tim Tebow, at the at the progression that he's had, has gotten opportunities that a lot of other quarterbacks has never got the opportunity to do, namely black quarterbacks. Um, and right. Skip Bayless, for the most part, like J.O. said, he would let Stephen A. run his track when it comes to a lot of the social issues and when we get to black, white. He would speak from a distance. He would make sure that his his um, opinion you know, was was classified as him being from the outside and he can't speak from a black perspective because he's not black. So he always made it known that way. But I've always felt like Skip Bayless always wanted to root for the white guy and wanted to really praise the white guy. And I'm not saying that that's a problem. I really don't have a big problem with that. But I remember he made a statement about Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin's mother is white. Skip Bayless went to school right. with Blake Griffin, and um, was with Blake Griffin's mother. And Skip said he kind of okay. takes a little bit of pride in the success of Blake Griffin because there's not a lot of successful white men, American men, in the NBA. So he said he kind of takes pride in Blake Griffin being successful and wants to kind of consider him as a white man because his mother is white. I say all right. that to kind of piggy up, <laughs> piggyback, and 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 sum up. What J.O. was saying, as far as him feeling like he was handcuffed, I really feel like Skip really want to go in. Like, you really could tell the dislike he had for guys like Floyd Mayweather, LeBron James. And it gets yeah. comical, but you can see a, a consistent disdain and uh, energy that he gives them that I do not see him give any other athlete, especially white athletes. And I think that by ESPN being owned by Walt Disney, he really didn't want to take it there. Like, if they talking about Tim Tebow, this, that, and the third, he might bring up the black quarterback. But he is not going to right. go in. He's not going to say to the public, Always, oh, we don't always give him. We always give him black quarterbacks a chance, and they just fucking it up. That's what he really wants to say, and he does yeah. it. And I think that's what he means by he's being handcuffed. I really, honestly think that real Skip Bayless is about to come out with this new show. It's starting September the sixth on Fox. They actually going to be going on at ten a.m. Well, from ten to twelve, so they're going to be going head to head with first take. 
it's going to be real interesting to see how Skip Bayless really is with the gloves off. I felt like first take ain't first take without her. Like, him and really? Stephen A is first take. Like, ever since, it's like piece by piece. Like, we take away from first take, it gets more garbage and more garbage. They took Kevin Champion away, and then they replaced her with this Molly Kardashian bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's just not the same no more. And I felt like, you know what I'm saying, maybe Max Kellerman could fill a void. And, like, and it's just not... It's just not what it is. It's just what it's like. It, it's not. It's trash. But I really feel like he sides. He sides with his complexion. And what we told y'all about that complexion for protection is everything, my nigga. Like, I think on the game joint, he's going to let a lot of things move that he, don't, that he couldn't let move on first take. I think he's going to let it flop. Max Kellerman is really exposing Stephen A. Smith right now. Like, I watched the show. And Stephen A is really getting exposed, in my opinion. Like, his energy is forced. His, his rants is forced. He's now taking it to Facebook and Periscope. He's doing so much extra shit. And I mean, I'm not knocking somebody for expanding, but it, it, it just seems like he is reaching. It, it's, it's just not authentic anymore. Yeah. Max Kellerman is so smooth and cool and laid back. He is really exposing Stephen A for who Stephen A really is. It was easy for Stephen A to hide the, behind that Skip and Stephen show because it was so entertaining. But Max right. is not that comical as Skip Bayless is. So we getting down to the meat and potatoes. I'm not saying Stephen A don't know his stuff. But you can tell that Stephen A is getting a little watered down and washed up. I mean, <clears throat> look at it. He can't even interview the top athletes in the NBA. But yet he's supposed to be so well respected. He can't interview right. LeBron. He can't interview Kevin Durant. He can't interview Ke Steph Curry now that he disrespected his wife. The top athletes in the NBA, the superstars of the NBA, Stephen A. Smith can't get an interview with. He about to alienate himself from Carmelo. It's, I mean, he's still stuck on Allen Novice interviews. Like, this is where he's at. You know, this is where Stephen A.'s at. You know what I mean? So... I'm thinking he really getting exposed, J.O. And we're going to see. Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't seem fluid. It's, it's like he's he's searching for something. He keep making all these promises right. like, take is going to take off. We're going to do this. Like you said, he's on Periscope. He's on Facebook Live. It's like he's right. really struggling to be a leader. And Thank you. It's like the creativity in the show and the topics and everything is not the same. It's really, see what it is, a lot of times, Steve Alley, you and crazy outlandish stuff where then Steve Nake right. can rant and correct them. But Kellerman is so calculated, he well thought, you know, he, he think out his words deeply. So it's like, Steve A. Smith, like you said, the word is disposed and it's really not good that the star of the show can't even really take off and, and be a and be a star. You know, he's, right. look, <laughs> he's looking like a six man, and he's supposed to be the star. So it is not that Kellerman is great. It's just that those it's the new wave. It's, it's, it's that it's that new it's wave. It's a, it's a whole new wave. And then wait till September. I mean, not only does he have pressure of being across from Max. But wait till Skip come on at 10 o'clock. I promise you. People are going to change them channels. Because people are dying exactly. to go and see what Skip Bayless is going to want to have to say. Because you know he's going to be throwing jabs. He's going to be throwing jabs. He's going to be throwing shots. He's going to be talking all facts. And it's going to be too late for Stephen A to talk some shit now. He basically exactly. puts you in position. He basically puts you there. Right. You know? Yeah, I wonder well, what type right. of show... What what type of show skip? Is he gonna have a co host or he just gonna be by himself? That that part I'm not quite sure of. Uh, do you right. have any idea? No, no details specifically on the on the show with Skip Babies. The only thing I do know will be starting September the sixth and it will be at a ten to twelve slot to go head to head with ESPN's first take. 